Hi friends. I found this coolest hat at a secondhand store today. It's got alligator skin or crocodile skin, I don't know which right there, and diamondback rattler snake skin all the way around it. Look at all the different textures. Look like how dark that one is and how wide that one is. That must have been a really big one. Um, all the way around the rim and uh, under as well. So what it looks like is it was custom made using a, a cheaper cowboy hat as a foundation because they, they blocked out the name of the maker. Now I looked online so I found this at a second hand store today for 20 bucks and they all laughed at me when I bought it. They just thought it was hilarious. I wore it out. It actually fits me. Um, but I don't wear cowboy hats. <laughs> I do have a western room in my basement. I have a, a bear hanging on the wall that my dad shot in Alaska. So I do like western things. I just am not, I don't dress western. I, I don't ride horses. I don't have horses. But I couldn't resist because to me, this is a piece of art. This is beautiful. And so um, it obviously has been sitting around for a very long time. Some of the snake skin on the top, I guess where it would hit, see the sun the most, or, or, or maybe uh, be around oxygen the most, or whatever, if it was in a hat box, um, has curled. And um, I think if I hold it right, you can see that they're curled up there. Now, if I had um, touched them like this when they were dry, um, before I conditioned it, they would be very cr crinkly. You can kind of hear a little, can you hear that? Like a little bit, because it's super dry up here. Now I um, have a leather sofa. Actually I have several. I really love leather. Um, don't hate me. It just is cold in the, the summer and it feels cool and it's soft and I just really it doesn't get dirty like other ones. I can just wipe it down if it does. So anyway, I just really um, like leather and I have a nice leather sofa and I found this Lexol um, leather conditioner years ago and I, <laughs> I bought it by the gallon online because, well, almost a gallon I guess, um, online because I, re I do my couch regularly. And you can check out my video and my blog, uh, thesecretisgratitude.com or watch my YouTube videos on the same channel, The Secret is Gratitude. And uh, it sh very clearly shows, because it's in the sun in the front room, and it and it, the UV makes the dye come out of it. And so it got was getting really bleached, sun bleached. And when I started using this conditioner, it helped the sun bleaching not occur as much. Now, I'm hoping you can see these ones are, are up, and it's ruffled because it was so dry and it hasn't been conditioned in so long. Like, I have no idea how old this hat is, but by the style, I'm guessing 70s, because look at the big, big old Texas Ram. <laughs> Cowboy hats are not this style typically anymore, but how cool is this thing? So, you can see it was super dry here, and you can hear it kind of, the top ones, especially right here, are dry, but the bottom ones are now soft. And because what I've been doing is I've, I have got this little spray bottle. This is how I put it on the um, leather chair uh, sofa. Um, I dump it out of the big bottle and put it in a spray bottle. At first I had a bigger spray bottle, but it I don't know. It just didn't work as well. I had a harder time controlling it. And I'm wearing gloves when I do this. Um, and so it was having a harder time spraying the bottle and it would get slippery and stuff. So I just used this little spray bottle and I spray it on and let it sit for a minute and then when you're polishing it you want to go with the angle of now you can hear how dry that is okay so that's super dry you can hear how dry that is but let me do where it wasn't quite as okay there's no this isn't curling this is super not as dry but where I get to the edges where it's curled up you can hear it's a little bit more dry and it's typically on the edges where it's dry. So um, I'm letting this dry overnight, um, dry, I guess, soak in. Um, and what I'm planning on doing, so you can see it's still a little up. You can hear, like, it's softer. These ones are, are not making any noise. 
but some of them are still a little curled up and especially down here on the edge they're kind of flipped over just because of how old it is but you can see now it's not breaking it off when I flip it back on itself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another layer of this Lexol on it and then I'm going to wrap saran wrap I'm going to take my finger and open it up, open these up and make them flat and then I'm going to wrap saran wrap on them and see if leaving the saran wrap on it overnight will allow the curled up ones to go flat. You can see I can I can touch them now, they're soft enough that I can I can do that, but I think if I put the saran wrap on it will soften those ones and, and flatten them a little bit that have curled up and are a little bit drier and you can hear them, they're a little bit flaky. Now, I don't want to damage it, it's so beautiful, it's, a, it's a, seriously a piece of art, I'm just, it's so fabulous. Um, but I, I do want to condition it and make it so it's not going to get any more damage on it because this is one of a kind. I, I looked online and I could only find one other one that was kind of similar and it didn't have this alligator or crocodile skin at the front, it just had the thing all over. That one was on 15 amazing things that are covered in snake skin for over $1,500. And then I found one similar but lighter. I don't, it wasn't quite as dark and beautiful as this one. It did not have this as well, if I remember correctly, and it was on a cowboy auction website. So uh, I couldn't find anything on eBay, nothing on Amazon. I couldn't find it anywhere. And like I said, it's a, it's a piece of art. It's somebody's custom made, beautiful, beautiful piece of art. So um, I have that western room and I think I'm going to display it down there but I need to protect it a little bit more and, and soften it up a little bit. I want to make sure I get all these little flyaway things, curls down and softened. So I think the best way to do that is by using um, saran wrap. But I just wanted to share this Lexol thing. There are some exotic skin conditioning things you can purchase um, and that probably is great too and would work great and they usually spray it with a, a sealant afterwards some kind of um, water protectant sealant but since I'm not going to be wearing this outside <laughs> it does fit me and they just laughed at me when I wore it out of the store but um, but since I'm not going to be wearing it I'm just gonna um, get it in good condition and then just hang it on display or I have another cowboy hat currently because this one's way cooler than the one I used to wear so anyway, that's just how I do it. I'm sure there's plenty of other ways. Um, I've just, there wasn't anything like it for me to compare it to. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, check out my blog for more pictures and descriptions and have a blessed day.